Welcome to Linux Hint YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about a very important and useful topic that is process JSON in Bash with JQ on the command line. We will be gonna discuss it in details so you don't need to browse any further to get the things. The JSON, also known as JavaScript object notation format, is widely used to represent data structures and is frequently used to exchange data between different layers of an application. We probably know how to interact with JSON formatted data with the most used programming languages such as parsing JSON with Python, but what if we need to interact with it from the command line or in a bash script? So in this tutorial, we will see how we can accomplish such a task by using the JQ utility and we will learn its basic usage. In JSON, each data value has a text string called a name or key. Together, they are known as name, value pairs or key, value pairs. A column separates a key from its value. An object is a collection of key value pairs. In a JSON file, an object begins with an open curly brace and ends with a closing brace. JSON also supports arrays, which are ordered list of values. An array begins with an opening bracket and ends with a closing one. The JQ utility is included in all the major Linux distribution repositories. Therefore, installing it is very easy. We just need to use our favorite package manager if we are using Debian or a Debian based distribution such as Ubuntu or Linux Mint, we can use apt command. So let's open your terminal and install the GQ utility. You can open your terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T or simply you can click right on your desktop and here is the option open in terminal. Click on that option. So here you go. So in order to install, write sudo apt get install jq and press enter it will ask for your sudo command but as i have recently removed the jq utility i have installed it earlier to perform few actions so it is not asking for sudo password but it will ask for your pseudo password all you have to do is write your pseudo password and press enter then it will then the process will begin and it will take some time as you can see the process have completed if you are using some other operating system then you can also install this utility if you want to install jq and fedora all you have to do is write the command sudo dnf install jq you can also install JQ on OpenSUSE by writing the command sudo zipper install JQ. And if you are using Mac, you can also install JQ with Homebrew. You have to write brew install JQ. Mac port, you need to write port install jq if you are using some other operating system i would recommend taking a look at the official documentation of jq now here is a point to remember that json does not care about white space and the layout does not affect it as long as it follows the rule of json grammar systems that process json can read and understood it because of this, JSON is often transmitted as simple, long string without any consideration of layout. This saves a bit of space because tabs, spaces and new line characters don't have to be included in the JSON. Of course, the downside to all this is when a human tries to read it. So, once you have installed JQ, you can check your current version by running a command on your terminal. But before that, let me clear the terminal. So in order to check the version of your JQ utility, write JQ double hyphen version. And here you can see the version is 1.6. Now we will learn how to read JSON data. It is not easy to read JSON data, but all thanks to JQ through which we can read JSON data very easily. So to make it easy for you, let's do some practical work. Let's declare a JSON variable with name JSON variable equal to here I'll write the content that I want to print press enter now i echo it double quotation dollar sign open curly brace name of the variable that is json variable 
Close the braces. Close open quotation sign. We are using a pipe sign here. JQ quotation dot quotation. Enter. So now you can see as I have created a variable and I wrote a content for that variable. But here when I call it using a JQ variable, you can see and you can easily read that particular content. Now we will be going to read JSON data with C option. C option uses with JQ command to print each JSON object in each line. After running the following command, each object of JSON data variable will be printed. So before doing that, let's clear the terminal. All you need to do is you have to echo the previous command but this time you have to use the C option. So all you have to do is write echo double quotation dollar sign open the brace and write the name of the variable that was JSON variable close the brace double quotation sign pipe sign JQ hyphen C it printed the output line by line. So now we will be gonna create and read JSON file. You can create a JSON file with any name and you know that in order to create a file we will use a touch command. So before that let me clear the terminal. So now we will create a file. Uh, let's suppose the name of the file is students.json. So in order to create a file use touch and name of the file students.js press enter as you can see here is a file with name students.js in order to write the content of the file we will use the nano command so nano and name of the file that is students.js press enter here we can write the content for this file let's suppose we are writing a few different attributes of a student like the roll number of a student the name of the student the batch in which the student enrolled and the department of the student so open bracket curly braces roll let's suppose the roll number is 45 comma enter name let's suppose name is Hathya Let's suppose batch is 14, department is CS, computer sciences, press enter, curly braces close, now just copy paste it, copy and now paste it here. Change the values. As you can see, I have changed the values. Now press Ctrl S and Ctrl X. So in order to run the script, write GQ single quote dot single quote and the name of the script. The name of the file that was students dot js. Press enter. And here you can see the content. That's how you can read the content of a file using the jq command. You can also read the file using pipe sample. So let's do another example using pipe sample. So first clear it out. As you know that we have already created a file and the content in it. So we will just using a pipe sample here to get the content of the file. So in order to get the content of the file using pipe sample, you can easily read any particular object from a JSON file by using jq command. In students.js file, there are different objects. There were four different objects. Essentially, they were roll number, name, batch and department. If you want to read the value of department key only from each record then run jq command. So write down jq. Here you can see the departments, the CS department, literature and history department, the values that we give in our content. So you can also find out the specific value. You can also read the specific value and specific object from a JSON file by using the JQ command. Now 
if you want to read two or more object values from JSON data, then mention the object names by separating commas. For example, you want to know the names, you want to read the names of the student uh, name and department. So, in order to do that, write the same command, but put two objects here, one the name, put comma to separate it and the department and press enter. Here I have done a mistake, put a dot here and now press enter. Now you can see the name and the department. The name is Hadi and the department is CS. The name is Hadi and the department is literature. The name is Hassan and the department is history. So you can also read two or more object values from JSON data using JQ. JQ command is used not only for reading JSON data but also to display data by removing a particular key. So if you want to remove a particular key, for example, let's suppose you want to remove batch key, you can do that by using map and del function. So let's write a quote for it. Write JQ single quote map function del the key you want to delete that is essentially batch name of the file that is students.js press enter and now you can see the batch key is deleted so without deleting the key from json data you can also use the map function with jq command for various purposes like numeric values of json data can be increased or decreased by the map function so create a pile with name uh, let's suppose number json touch num dot json and now write some content in the file by uh, you can open the file by using the nano command nano and name of the file that is essentially num dot json press enter so create a content in the file to test the map command so let's suppose the content of our file is any values 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 close the brace press ctrl s to save and ctrl x to go back to your terminal you can run the command you can increase the value of the content of the file by 10 by using this command now write jq single quote map for mapping function dot plus 10 the value we want to add in our values and the name of the file that is num dot json press enter here you can see the first value was 10 and the values were 10 20 30 40 50 now the values are 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 so you can actually use jq commands for various purposes you can increase or decrease values by using map function you can also decrease the values so if you want to decrease the value use the same command but now this time instead of plus 10 make it minus 10 and press enter now you can see let me clear the terminal okay guys you can also search values by index and length you can read objects from json file by specifying the particular index and length and for that create a json file uh, let's suppose with uh, we create a file of colors so let's suppose the file has colors names in it create a file by using touch command and uh, let's suppose the name of the file is color dot json press enter now in order to write content in the file write the nano command and the name of the file that is color dot json press enter okay here you will write the colors uh, let's suppose i'm gonna write a red comma blue comma green black yellow green orange i think that's enough and close the bracket
Press Ctrl S to save the content and Ctrl X to go back to your terminal. Now if you want to read two values that starting from some particular index, then write JQ to semicolon 4 color dot json the file name here you can see green and black open the file as you can see on index 2 the value is green and at the position 4 the value is black go back so you can see we wrote 2 for the index of a color and 4 for a value of a color so it print green and black. You can specify the length or started index to read data from JSON file. For example, if you give the number of data value only, then in that particular case, write jq dot press enter. As you can see, the command will read four data from the first index of color dot JSON. That's all for today. When you will work with JSON data and want to parse or manipulate data according to your requirements, then JQ command will help you to make your task easier. If I conclude this video, then in this video we have learned how to install JQ and different JSON related tasks. For example, how to read the content of a variable, how to read data using different methods, how to get and read specific data, how to delete particular data, how to map data without deleting particular values, searching values by index and length. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you to clear your concepts. If you like this video then give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet our channel then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get notifications of our upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.